Okay, let's do this. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Barbrek channel. Uh, we're I'm continuing here my journey through DIY pedal world. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to breadboard really iconic, uh, really iconic uh, uh, effect, fuzz face. This is uh, the likes of Jimi Hendrix, um, Dave Gilmore, um, uh, Steve Ray Vaughan, they used it, and uh, many others. Uh, this version is silicon version. Um, yeah, something similar to what uh, David Gilmer used on uh, the Dark Side of the Moon album. And um, uh, I have everything ready here uh, for this. Uh, I have schematic here. I have my breadboard layout I'm going to make. Yeah, uh, so let's get to it. Uh, I, I better go through a few things first to get out of the way before I zoom through all this uh, um, breadboarding. So I'll be using exact same diagram uh, as I'm doing uh, as I have it here, and uh, I'll be using these uh, transistors BC one hundred nine C T O eighteen metal can package. Something okay, TO18 metal can package. Yeah, so uh, you know, first thing first, uh, the uh, just to get the pin out right, there's a little tab here. Um, okay, that's not uh, too useful. Um, okay, so one, two, three. I think this looks better. So one, two, three, amateur base collector. So, uh, so this is how it goes. So this is my amateur here, amateur here, just so I know the orientation. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty standard. Um, the, the things to be careful about electrolytic capacitors, the uh, orientation. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't have, I, I realized that I only had this 1k uh, potentiometer. Um, so I just kind of uh, made it be easy to plug in into breadboard. So it's similar. To what I do with with a, a bit more uh, kind of a easier to use uh, one other pot potentiometer, you know, but just didn't have the right value. This will do. Uh, just don't get uh, uh, bogged down by that. Um, okay. Funny thing. Uh, yesterday I was recording this and uh, I ran out of uh, space. Actually, there was something wrong with my SD card and uh, nothing was recorded. I didn't know that. Uh, so I preformed the leads. So I was doing this nice demonstration how to cut it and everything, but like we'll skip that this time. Uh, um, so let me get going. Before I continue, I have uh, the breadboard here is numbered. Uh, that these lines are numbered uh, in ascending order. Mine is a bit up and down, uh, so this is ascending order to match exactly to my diagram. I need to use this side as a reference. Just I'll be careful about that. Um, uh what else i wanted to say is that these uh you see how this um alignment is not exactly the same between the two boards so might not be exactly the same but i'll, I'll uh, try to keep it as 
much as possible just to look exactly the same as the the diagram here. Okay. Um, where do I start? Uh, I'm wiring up battery now, so what I'm going to do is, um, uh, this is stereo plug, the stereo jack, so uh, guitar plug is mono, so tip is carrying the signal, uh, the, the sleeve goes to ground, but when you plug it in, uh, this part kind of a short uh, sleeve and ring, and essentially ring goes to ground so uh, that's an old trick uh, used in pedals so when you plug in battery like this the battery is disconnected okay battery is disconnected uh, because it's not connected to ground there is no plug uh, connected there uh, this is to preserve battery because uh, uh, as soon as the plug is in, even if your uh, effect is uh, uh, even if your effect is not turned on, the battery is still used. Uh, if the if the guitar uh, is plugged in, the battery is still being used because uh, the the effect is powered now you engage the effect effect you know is engaged and it's working but it but if it when you disengage it, it still is it's still on it's still on uh, just not uh, connected to the signal path because it's bypassed um so that's the way to preserve a battery uh, majority of pedals uh, uh, use the, use that trick so i'm just going to use it here as well uh so this is it, uh, everything, everything breadboarded, so let me try it out, see if it works. Okay, uh, I turned this up a bit, tied it up, so I think I'm ready. Uh, let me turn on the amp. I have to just plug it in. Okay, bypass sound. Yep, bypassed. So engaged, nothing's happening. Um, this is because volume is all the way down. Look, I'll, I'll just put it all the way up. It's not. Is working and it's not very distorted at least I, I don't hear it very distorted so let's see uh, okay all right so this is the fuzz control is all the way down so let's so this is all the way up okay there's some nasty interference 
when I put it all the way up and all the way uh, up is the highest uh, gain that you can get so it, it's picking up interference from all these cables uh, uh, around so um, let me let me start like this chord halfway maybe 75% uh, down a bit ah you see it, it, it just uh, when you dial it all the way up it's full gain very little feedback to the first transistor so it, it it's full on so I'd say when I put it into uh, enclosure it will clear up but you know uh, it's better if, if I just put it on like 95% it will be just fine on 90 um, This is with single coils, uh, uh, neck pickup. We can try humbucker. So uh, it, it should sound a bit fuzzier because it's a hotter pickup, but uh, output of the effect is limited. Uh, so when it starts. Uh, Distorting starts cut off, cutting off uh, the signal. It limits it to very fairly low level. Uh, uh, fairly low level. It's it's, it's still uh, higher than than single uh, coil pickup, but uh, um, it it won't be a huge difference in volume uh, between single uh, coil and humbucker. But it should be a slight. You know, it should be. A, a noticeable uh, difference in distortion level, I suppose. Um, what I want to see... Oh, yeah. So what happens is uh, in the original one, when you roll down the uh, volume uh, control, it kind of uh, clears up nicely. So let's see. Yeah, clears up nicely. So, and actually, 
I'm pretty happy with the sound. This is really uh, worked out well. Now, I knew it would work out well because I, I you know, read what it is uh, yesterday and the uh, video didn't just work out. But uh, um, yeah, so this all looks great. What I was thinking of doing, I have a bunch of uh, other uh, transistors. Uh, let me just grab that I wanted to try out, but that would take a while to uh, set up. So I'm gonna finish it here. It's a uh, uh, great effect. Of what I'm going to do next, uh, I'm just gonna uh, get a um, bunch of different uh, transistors to see how they sound together, you know, one versus the other, uh, BC 109C against the others. And then uh, I have some uh, uh, potentiometers uh, to, to try to uh, kind of uh, uh, see what happens if I change values of any of these uh, uh, components. See how it sounds, how much does it change anything, you know. Um, I, I, I mentioned that, you know, nearly any uh, silicon transistor will work in this circuit. And it, it's going to be interesting to see... Um, just how well it sounds, you know, because one thing is working and the other thing is actually sounding nice. So, uh, stay tuned for the next video and uh, uh, hopefully we get to, to hear something, you know, interesting.